I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to share with you today my journey through my Bibles. I'm going to share where I have started and where I'm at today. Um, so if you, I always, always encourage my brothers and sisters to um, find the perfect Bible for them. Rather, you're a new Christian, very, very new coming into it, or you were raised up in it like me. I was raised up in it. Um, really, really tried to connect with the Bible, just could not, could not connect, could not connect with God. I was just really, really, really lost. So um, I came, sorry, I came back to my Bible. Um, I share a little bit of my testimony. If you go through my videos, you'll find a couple of them. Um, they're both marked testimony. But um, so this video is just solely, solely pointing on how you you may not grow just like as I did, but how one person, me in particular, grew. I grew what had started me in the Bible. Hey, can you just, sorry. Okay, just trying to get all the attentions, as you can tell. I try to make everything comfortable for him, but still wasn't good enough. All right, so um, my for those of you who are just tuning in, hello, I am Kat Woods. Um, I was raised up in a Christian home. Uh, was KJV only. That's the only translation my mom would allow in the house. So I just could not connect with that Bible at all. So this right here was my very, very first Bible, jumping back into um, falling in love with God and learning who he is um, and what his purpose was for me. So this Bible, um, highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're sitting there right now um, with maybe just a normal, regular Bible, um, let's see, just, I don't have one really close to me. Do I have one in my pile? No, they're all something. Should have done this a little bit better. Just say, um, this is in the amplified version, but just say, just like a regular Bible, just, you know, just the word of God, no notes, no anything else, but just like the word of God. And it was a KJV Bible. So it was really hard to understand. Um, the Lord put this Bible in my path, and in, in, it is an NLT, so much easier translation to read. And as you can tell, you guys, I loved it. Um, I, I really, really explored through it. I do have a flip through of this Bible on my channel. It's my second video I did, just starting in, so you could tell there's a huge difference on the quality of video. But um, yeah, it's this. This is it. This Bible right here, and the Lord knew I needed it. He, I, he knew I needed to spark something different in me to get me excited to want to know what is in here. Just looking at the plain words of God, I was like, I was lost. I was like, this isn't reading like a normal book. I don't understand what I'm doing. So from here, um, a sweet sister blessed me with the She Reads truth bible so i wanted a little bit more than just um being creative coloring um just exploring my creative side i wanted more of a study studying to know what else god wants for me so the she reads truth bible i highly highly recommend it i have a playlist over this bible um it really really touched home and it just the sister arrived this bible sent me this bible and arrived at the perfect time to help me grow. So, um, I, and, what, and what I mean by that is, as you can tell, I still was creative in the Bible, but I was learning how to take notes. I was really understanding, like, what do you mean studying the Bible? I mean, I, I've heard of, you know, obviously being creative, but sitting there and taking notes about it, I mean, it was, it was something new, really, really new for me. So, um, yeah, this, this, this is, this is the Bible. You can say my first wide margin Bible, the She Reads Truth. This was it. I was just learning to really allow myself to be one with God's word. All right. So this is it. And you could tell I was still being creative. Um, I'll do some drawings in here. I just, that creative color really ignites my spirit. It gets me excited and it makes me want to come back into the Bible. So I know that um, it may sound silly to a lot of people, especially some seasoned Christians. They're like, they look at this and they don't, they don't yet understand it or 
understand why somebody may need something like that, but I needed it. I really needed it. I needed to learn how to connect. How am I um, able to bring some old words to where I understand them in this day and age, in modern age? And like, how am I able to um, hear the Lord's voice speak to me through these words? So being doing something like this, this is really what helped helped um, me learn, helped me learn to understand and reflect um, in, in my Bibles, really. It really did. So, um, the next one from there. Oh, it's all dusty. Oh, no. I don't ever touch this Bible because I completely blew it up. But um, this one right here is my Pray the Scripture Bible. This one, um, <laughs> I was blessed enough to get a bookstore was like going out of sale and they had this Bible and you guys, oh, this was the very, very, very first Bible garden that I've ever um, really learned. Like I learned what a Bible garden was. Um, I learned why it's very, very important for all of us to have our own Bibles and our own, to start our own Bible garden. Um, I will come back and explain a little bit more about that. I do have a couple of videos on my channel, but I want to really show you how to start it, how to start it, um, and all that. So, but this is another one. This one right here um, really taught me how to pray through the actual scriptures. Um, so this one, I was growing, learning, praying, um, bringing actually a color code. I was like looking through Pinterest and I was like, oh, there's color codes you can do. You can color code the scriptures. Are you serious? So once I learned how to color code, so I went from being creative then to writing and um, communicating with God in the wide margins to coming through and color coding. So this is, again, an amazing adventure that I would never have learned. Um, never experienced if I didn't have multiple Bibles in different translations. Each of these Bibles are in different translations. So highly, highly recommend you guys going out there and just exploring whatever Bible um, just catches catches your eye, really catches your eye. So going all through here, I blew this little beauty up. I mean, I have everything. So I do have a flip through of this and I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below because I know it's going to be asked. So from there, again, I wanted a little bit more and to know what else was out there. Um, at that time, I wasn't searching. I could, I wasn't shopping online, so I could only find what Walmart had or what a bookstore called Half Price Books next to me had. So it was never a big selection. I'm in a small town, so it would never a big selection. So a lot of these first beginning Bibles, my many, many sisters sent them to me and really helped my transformation grow. Without them sending me these amazing Bibles that I had no clue were even out there like on the market. I never even heard of them. Nothing. The translations, the amplified version, I have no, never heard of that. I had no idea what that was. But being sent this Bible, oh, it totally, totally sparked something in me. And again, the Lord knew I needed it. He knew I needed to share um, my own journey. And this was back in 18. The other one was back 2017. Um, but he knew I needed this so I can learn how to share with you all. So, yeah, I did the same thing. This one, um, I was learning that Bibles not only had devotionals because the She Reads Truth has a devotional through them, but this one has prayer points. Um, there are PowerPoints here. Uh, there's stuff over prayer. There's so many key helps through here. Um, speak like God speaking to you in full on devotionals. I mean, this Bible did so amazing, so amazing things that whole year, that whole year I really found myself drawn to this Bible, um, loving it, learning. Oh, it was, it was amazing. It was an amazing journey. And I sometimes sit here still to this day, 
we'll go through and just remember each amazing, exciting step through here. And you don't get your Bibles like this by just spending five, ten minutes in your Bible. I know a lot of people say, hey, if you're reading your Bible at least for five, ten minutes, that's good. That's good enough. Just do something. I don't know. No, you guys, you can spend a lot more. If you can sit there on your phones for 20, 30 minutes at a time, you can give God way more than 10 to 30 minutes of your time. Like literally, one of these pages alone will take at least 30 minutes, at the very, very least. So God deserves the most of your time over anything else, all right? So make sure you put him above anything else in your life, all right? So from there, it was my devotional, um, my devotional Bibles learning, you know, what else was out there. Um, this was the next one. This Bible is the Quest Study Bible. Um, and it was, I wanted to read my Bible cover to cover. So this one is an amazing one to have. It's like a study Bible, but it has questions. So over here on the side, the study notes, they are worded as questions. So each of them for whatever verses, it's a question. And they have the answers, of course, below it. I love this. I still come to this Bible to this very day if I have a question about, a, you know, a particular verse. I'm like, what? I'm not understanding that. So I will come to this one. And it has helped me out so much. And they have like little, um, I guess, bigger questions. Devotion, not really devotionals down there. Just point PowerPoints too. But, yeah, I I've, I've love this one, too. Um, but as you can tell, I wasn't so creative as the other one in this one. This one, you can tell there's lesser um, tabs and stickers. And, and I, was, I was drawing and growing away from that because I wanted to, to come back, to be able to come back to a Bible to just read it. You know, um, having all the pretty stuff there, it is adorable. And it is beautiful to look at, but it can be um, a, a block almost. It can be just something to distract you when you're reading the Word of God. So, um, I do have my little minis. When I was going to work, I actually grew little mini. So, I have little mini, mini Bible gardens. Um, still the same thing. I do have flip-throughs of these little guys too. This was a theme one, so I learned um, I can have a single Bible just for one theme, and this theme was praise. So every scripture that is marked through this Bible, it is it um, emphasizes praises. So I really come to this Bible when I want to be lifted up. And I also have a flip through of that. So from the next one, I was like, study Bible, study Bible. Um... A sweet angel has sent this Spurgeon study Bible, and I loved this Spurgeon study Bible so much. I really thought um, it was a study Bible because it has the Word of God. Let me bend it down a little bit. It has, you know, the Word and then study notes at the bottom. He even has his own little personal um, quotes, uh, reflections in here. Let me get to the Psalms because I really blew up the Psalms. Sorry, my little disorder, as you can see, he would not get off of my desk, so I'm having to work around him. Um, but, so, I wanted a study Bible, and I, I loved the study Bible. I've used it. I still use it to this day because I love the CSB translation. It's something that you can really, really connect with, with just a daily reading. I mean, look at these words. They're they're big. They're bold. Oh yeah, and this is another one where I this was my first large print Bible. So I was like, oh my goodness, look how beautiful. So I was learning that there was um, two column format, a large print, um, just the regular size print. Like I was learning. My sisters were helping me through my journey learn that there are all kinds of Bibles. So sharing that Spurgeon study Bible, I got a couple of comments saying, you do know that's not an actual study Bible, right? So I was like, no, what do you mean? It's like, it says Spurgeon study Bible, but it's more like a devotional Bible. And that's what they told me. And now that I know more about Bibles, I understand why they were saying that. 
Um, so like a normal, this is, this isn't where I started from that, um, Spurgeon. I didn't jump into this one. I gifted the Bible that was next my actual first study Bible from ESV. I already gifted that away, but this is the one that I have in my collection. So let's just not look at the cover. Okay. Cause you won't get a cover like this. Um, but so this is the actual ESV, um, study Bible. So you get the actual study Bible, you get, I mean, the Word of God, you get references, and you get study notes down here, along with charts. Um, there'll be maps right there. There's maps. So there's, um, there's another chart. There's book introductions. So I learned this is what a study Bible contains of, and not two study Bibles are the same. Each study Bible is unique in its own way. I learned that too on my spiritual walk. So, um, yeah, th this journey has been amazing, you guys. And that's why I say, go out there and learn. Learn what all is out there. Um, ask questions. You, you're you never going to learn or know anything if you don't ask questions. So, um, a sweet brother learned that I was um, wanting to read my Bible cover to cover. And he's um, blessed me with this church Bible. And this is my very first premium Bible, too. This was it. So it's the Church Bible Publishers Turquoise Edition. And I loved this gem. Oh, my, my. I've used it, loved it. I have an um, actual log to show how many places I've taken it to. And this little chapter number right here is what really what helped me read and encourage myself to keep reading. Because the further along I got through my Bible this number grew. I'm like, I read 164. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I read 625. So this Bible really helped me finish reading my Bible for the first time cover to cover back in 2018. So I was like, yay! Was it 18? I think it was, yeah, 2018. And that was my travel log. So loved that one. Um, and then this was my second um, premium Bible, Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And this right here started my whole love, love for study Bibles because how much help that is in this one, I wanted to know what else was out there. I knew, I knew there was more out there. So as you can tell, um, my Bibles like this one right here, there's nothing. You won't find any um, like sticky notes. There's nothing. You won't find anything because... I only wanted just the Word of God. I was seeking just the Word, reading just the Word. Um, it, was, it was beautiful to come back through here and find out some more helps. And the only thing I did was a couple of like little highlights and stuff through here. But I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. So when I came back through, I wouldn't be distracted by um, like the stickers and the posty notes and nothing else. It, there wouldn't be distraction when I came back through and used this Bible. So I still use and love this Bible to this day. That was also a blessing for my sweet sister Patricia. So as you could tell my journey it was just one after the other changing growing. Um, this was my very very first Skylar Bible and you can tell I still wanted to add um, color. I wanted to be still be able to be cat in my Bible. Um, so through here you will find, even though it was a premium Bible, I, it was still it was still some of me in it. Because I love, I love the way the bold font looked. I mean, the quintels are stunning for that. You can underline, you can circle, I mean, you can just... You had big spaces at the end of the Bible just to write your reflection over what you just read. And then in this Bible, I was reading my cover again, or reading my cover, reading my Bible cover to cover for the second time. And I actually wrote down. The days that I did it so my kids can come through here and use it as their own like personal log themselves and have the New Testament back here 
And I was reading another Bible, um, and it had, it had the Apocrypha in it. So I just added the Apocrypha Bible when I, or books of the Bible when I was reading them. So I really shouldn't have done that, but that's what I was doing in 2019. So that's what I wrote down. <laughs> um, now looking back, I'm like, why would I have the Apocrypha books of the Bible in a Bible that doesn't have the Apocrypha in it? But, you know, I don't always think right um, ahead at the right time, I guess. But, um, so yeah, so that's been my journey, you guys. So when I'm saying um, my journey has been growing, I now know what I like in a Bible. I now know what I need in a Bible. I need Bibles that I can be explore, be creative in. So they're not so much of the creative stuff. It's only on the corners, um, which... You could tell only the corners are being blown up. We got stickers here and we got stickers here. But everywhere else throughout the Bible, it, it's a it's a nice clean text. So let's right here. It's a clean text. Like these stickers, they're like vellum, so I can even though it's covering the text, I can still read it. So the text is not being covered up at all. I'm still able just to read my Bible. Or if I wanted to add more, I would add tippins like here. But I can come through and read it. So the other ones I, I really didn't um, have. I covered up some words. I was okay with it. But I have four or five Bibles that, this is my Humble Lamb Bible, that I use and I won't mark in at all. You won't find one single mark in this Bible. It's clean. It's crisp. It looks like it's a brand new Bible. And I like that. I like having some Bibles um, where they look brand new. Because every time I use it, it feels like it's a brand new Bible. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share um, my journey with you guys. I'm always saying like, I started here. I started being creative um, when I first started. And then I wanted more. I wanted to know... What else can I do besides just uh, the NLT translation? Um, just being creative. I wanted to more meet more of the word of God. And he really, really shared and had the sisters send me just the right Bible at the right time to help me grow. And it was amazing. It was an amazing journey. I didn't understand that he, he was doing that at the time. But looking back, I understand now. He was preparing me. He was preparing me for the next stage in my life, the next transformation in my life. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share that with you all. I hope this helps um, help somebody. I'm excited to hear about your guys' journey, too. If you would, just leave it in the comments below. I love communicating with you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.